Hello, hello. Um, so, I'd like to just speak this morning briefly about, um, you know, another awakening that's happened for me. And it seems like uh, often it's the same thing over and over again. Um, and at, at just deeper levels. And um, I, I see that uh, as a little boy, uh, somehow I got in my mind, hey Mel, somehow I got in my mind that I had to, uh, I had to earn love, that I had to, uh, be a good boy and that love was conditional on um, whether I was a good boy or not or whether I uh, had uh, certain achievements and uh, uh, so the fundamental belief was was in the system that I had to earn love and and I see now that um, this was you know this was the deal and, and I was brought up in a family where uh, um, you know my <coughs> my mom and dad had been born and raised in, in uh, alcoholic families or dysfunctional families if you will and, and I suppose this went on for generations you know I don't know but there I was um, trying to uh, to be something or do something so that I could get something, manage life. And, and uh, what just came to me now is that obviously the deal was broken. It must have been broken several times because I didn't believe it. And uh, not believing it didn't mean I, I knew how to live here. Uh, I just didn't believe it. I didn't believe that... Uh, that uh, if I did certain things, love would be, um, uh, you know, kind of shot my way. Uh, and, and as a child, you know, we, we, be, we believe that uh, our mom and, and our dads, you know, are, are the kind of the bestowers of love, aren't they? And, and uh, uh, so I, I grew up in a family where I think the deal was broken. <clears throat> And many of you maybe haven't been, and, and so you've been able to go on and have lives of achievement, and as a result, uh, you know, feel loved. And, and uh, but uh, that that wasn't the case for me. I I've never actually um, I see that 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 fundamentally I haven't trusted uh, that system in the person, in the personality, in the in the persona, in the in the human world. I. I didn't trust, and so I, I, um, uh, I haven't been exceptionally good at uh, what normal people would call, uh, you know, achievements in life. I, I didn't, uh, I didn't stay in school. Uh, never went to school actually. Uh, so as a, uh, as a, as a teenager, was rebellious and said, you know, uh, fuck you guys, I'm out of here, and. and uh, um, you know, had this kind of life of rebellion, really, and uh, and and uh, anger, if you will, at the broken deal that I thought happened, because I lived under the misconception, and that many of us have lived under, that if we perform well, uh, that we can, uh, we'll get love, and uh, and and. But I had seen that that deal had been broken, and, and so, and, and probably in my family of origin, so I didn't, I, I didn't believe it, and uh, so I was kind of outside of the system, and have been all all of my life really outside of the system, and and uh, with a bit of a fuck you, and uh, and I searched though, I spent you know it's been beautiful because I spent my life searching for what is it that's missing, what is it that's not, you know, because it it seemed like. You know, judging other people's insides from their outsides, it seemed like everybody else 
had it working for them. But then I found that that's not true, that many, many people didn't have it working for them and that we, you know, I found in the 12 steps that we needed to, to kind of uh, seek a, you know, an awakening and a spiritual way of living. And, and, uh, but still the fuck you was so strong in the system that um, I, even that I didn't trust. And I didn't, you know, I've only realized some of this stuff in the last few years that, that I was angry. Uh, fundamentally angry and uh, um, not trusting and fearful and uh, so I finally came to to believe that the only way to have a uh, to live here without being tormented in by my own mind and my own judgment of myself because that's what it all came down to I would judge you and judge me continuously the mind was like a magical judging machine it could in a minute you know tell whether it liked you or whether it didn't or whether it could get something from you or whether it couldn't or whether it would you know serve you or whether it wouldn't and so it it's a you know selfish and self-centered uh thinking apparatus and, and that and that's the life of the addict and the alcoholic <laughs> mostly and so what had to happen? Something had to shift fundamentally at my essence. Something had to shift. And, and, it, and it has. And it has. And it's, uh, it's not entirely shifted because stuff still comes up. And I see it uh, um, that I'm, you know, I still get caught in it. Um, in, in the trap of imagining that I can uh, achieve my way to, to some acceptance of myself. In, and uh, my acceptance of myself, uh, for, of me accepting myself, can't be based on what I've done or what I've got. Or, you know, it just it can't be. It's too thin. It doesn't work for me. I don't trust it. And that's the fundamental thing. Some of you, I think, can, can have it and, it and you do trust it and it works for you. But for me, uh, hi Tracy, for me... Uh, there has to be something, uh, it had to be, uh, um, an awareness. And the awareness that came is that I can't get love, I can't earn love, I can't, uh, I, because it's, I am love. We are love. And so we're, we're kind of looking in the wrong patch and, and there's actually nothing to look for and uh, but I got caught again this last little while uh, in a you know in a trying to uh, be something you know at, at, I've been working at a job and and uh, you know and, and I saw myself trying to achieve again to be and I and I recognize it that the f underneath the achievement wasn't me just being there in love it, it was me being there um wanting to be recognized or wanting to be to get something so um and it's it, it's it just it's amazing how if we stay in the game we'll continue to grow you know and i encourage you all of us to not hibernate or isolate because uh, even though it can be painful out there uh this is where we see ourselves and, and again, you know, this week I, I saw myself and it was like, oh, there I am again trying to get something and there's nothing to get, you know, and in the process of trying to get something, judging myself and, and measuring and, and uh, you know, it's just, there's nothing to get. So love is, we, this is it, we live in it, love, God, uh, there's no separation unless we separate unless we, I pull away, unless I am back in my mind selfishly, you know. The alcoholic is selfish and self-centered and driven by fear, hundred forms of fear, self-delusion. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> so it doesn't really matter if I know where it started, you know, or is that my mom's fault? <laughs> uh, you know, it's a gift that I can't, 
came to this planet, that we all came to this planet to grow and to, you know, so let's not take it too seriously. This is, it's like a life school, you know, it's not about the accomplishments. <laughs> and I've got more than you've got, or she's got more than I've got, or whatever, it's not about that. Nothing here really matters in that level. Because when we're gone, it's gone. You know, it's just, we take who we are with us. <laughs> All right. You know, just, just look at the whole thing, you know, and maybe entertain the possibility that uh, there isn't anything to get. And there's nothing missing. Nothing missing. Everything that is or was or ever will be is now. And we are here in this moment now. And the mind takes us out of it. It's always behind. It's always, you know, not really here. So, <coughs> shit, love in the moment. Okay, you guys, I don't know if that made any sense, but uh, uh, there's freedom in that. There's freedom in that For today. It's like, ah, oh, gosh, look at that. You know, expectations, trying to plan thinking I know, it's all from the mind. Disappointment from the mind. Um, life has a plan. My fervent prayer is that I can uh, surrender in each moment to life's plan and be here. Be here in life's plan. Life's plan is, is love. We're in it. We are it. So every day when I do this little talk, <laughs> and thank you, you guys, because this doing this helps me to be more present. It's like, oh, to show up like uh, with what's really happening in, in the moment for me. And, and uh, so thank you so much, <laughs> whoever, <laughs> whoever you are, um, you know, for... Inspiring me to to be inspiring David to be more in love in love. August twenty eighth thought for the day it says we must continue to take personal inventory. Well, that's what you guys help me to do every day. If I got to show up and do this. I do have to look at what's going on. I can't spout. Uh, um, or dogma, or I can't spout, uh, you know, can't uh, pontificate. <laughs> anyway, so you help me to continue to, to set right any, yeah, take personal inventory and set right any new mistakes as we go along. We should grow in understanding and effectiveness. So that's what happens. We go deeper. There's layers and layers and layers. Sometimes it seems like the same thing over and over again, you know, to, of awakening, uh, but we grow in understanding and effectiveness. This is not an overnight matter. It's right out of the, out of the book, of the big book. It should continue for our lifetime. Continue to watch for selfishness, dishonesty, resentment, and fear. Those are the, the tools, you know. Those are the the the, the found, that That's where I see that I'm back in my mind trying to run the show. Uh, <laughs> hi, Jason. Hey, buddy. Love you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, continue to watch for selfishness, dishonesty, resentment, and fear. When these crop up, we ask God at once to remove them. So I see the, the whole idea of, of God, G-O-D, for many of us, for me, uh, was a very limiting belief. And I'm not asking or suggesting that anybody believe in something outside of them. And you touch on, on the possibility that God is love and God is in everything, that there is no separation. There's no idea of God that's, you know, we don't have to believe that. It, it just is. Feel it. Experience.
experience. We ask God to remove them at once. We must not rest on our laurels, it says. We're headed for trouble, it says. If we do, we're not cured of our selfish, self-centered thinking, which we call alcoholism or addiction. What you really have is a daily reprieve. So this thing is based on us doing the work, you know, every day we get, you know, come back to love, come back to love, come back to love. Um, not cured. Uh, we have this daily reprieve, contingent on the maintenance of our spiritual condition. So spirituality is, and surrender, those are the tools of spirituality, surrender, acceptance, right? Mm -hmm. Gratitude, those are the tools that we come back to. Mm -hmm. Love, it says, am I checking my spiritual condition daily? Wow, can I be thankful for each moment, you know? Be in the feeling. Sometimes feelings come up. You know, we have these plans and the ideas and our little thoughts of what's going to happen, and it doesn't happen. And we, and we, sometimes we. That's where resentment comes. Expectation breeds resentment. So just let go of thinking we know. Meditation for the day. Happiness cannot be sought directly. It says it's a byproduct of love and service. Oh my gosh, <laughs> service. Uh, is a byproduct of love and so service is a law of our being. With love in our heart, there is always some service to our fellow man. A life of power and joy and satisfaction is built on love and service. A man who hates or is too selfish is going against the law of his own being, it says. Cuts himself off from God or love or the moment, right? And his fellow man. Little acts of love and encouragement, of service and help, erase the rough places of his life. Erase the rough places of his life and help to make the path smooth. Beautiful. If we do these things, we cannot help having our share of happiness. So that we are love. If we do these things, if we be these things, if we act, love is a verb. If we're in the act of love, we... Of course, we will have happiness. Happiness is an interesting word. We'll have love. We'll have joy. We'll have peace. Yes. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may give my share of love and service, that I may be, I may live my share of love and service. I pray that I may not grow weary in my attempts to do the right thing. Beautiful. Hmm. So thanks, you guys. You know, little awakenings, man. Just a little awakenings, and, and uh, um, I want you to know that not only you know do I love to work in this twelve step because I see it as a as an amazing, so simplified uh, set of tools for for freedom, for awakening. It's just so beautifully done. But I also you know I listen to Muji, uh, who I believe really 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 hit on it this in this lifetime. You know I've always I've enjoyed. Hours and hours of Ram Das, Alan Watts, you know, Eckhart. Yes, yeah, there's many teachers that carry basically the same message of love and service, you know, of freedom in the moment. Hmm. Osho, what a character Osho was. Uh, a bit of a rebel, you know, but all of these guys are rebels. Jesus was a rebel you know, went against, in a way, the status quo. So, um, yeah. Buddha was clearly a rebel, you know, left his life of privilege. So, hmm. Okay, you guys. Love you, love you a lot. Have a super day. And uh, um, we'll talk soon. I think uh, starting in November, no, November. <laughs> September, that's next month, soon, uh, we're going to start to do uh, our nightly Monday meditation again and have it here in my home. Uh, we're setting up a space uh, where we can meet and safely meet and wear masks if we like and, and uh, um, you know, um, yeah, just we're going to probably even go by one of those temperature gauges so that we can do that and, you know, follow the protocols and, and and get together for Monday meditation. 
What do you think of that? And uh, uh, for those of you that are interested, I'm also going to do a big book study. I love the the big book of of, uh, of AA, and I'm going to do a study group starting on Tuesday nights. Yeah. Okay. So I'm looking forward to an exciting fall just to be in service to you guys. Yeah. To share our love with each other. Okay. Cheers.